Hello? Hello? Is mic on? Is mic on? All right, well, uh, thank you for joining me. Um, I am the new general manager of the Washington Capitals. My name is Dustin Huey. Uh, first, we want to thank Brian McClellan for the work he's done with the Washington Capitals organization. He's built a very strong foundation. After winning the Stanley Cup in 2018, unfortunately, the Capitals haven't been able to get through the first round of the playoffs. And I'm looking to get over that hurdle with this team. There are some great players and there's a great legacy in this organization. I come with 10 years of being an armchair GM and I think I have the experience to bring this team to the next level and uh, get their names etched once again on the Stanley Cup. Uh, we won't be holding any questions, but I thank you all for coming. Can't wait for you to see uh, how this team looks with this season. Thank you. What is up, YouTube? Dustin Huey here, back with a brand new NHL 22 franchise mode. We did a vote on YouTube, and the winner, by just a slim margin, was the Washington Capitals. The Washington Capitals. Some very good players on this team. Uh, so, for a setup, we're doing uh, basically the standard. I'm going to try player morale this time and team chemistry. I'm not really a big fan of it. I think it's broken, but we're going to give it a go. We're going to give it a try. <laughs> we're going to see how it is. Uh, sorry for the delay on the start of this. Uh, basically, my family had COVID, so I'm still like, I'm still getting over it, but <clears throat> we're uh, working through it, you know? We're going to do it. Uh, quick settings. So I turned, uh, we're going to turn injuries off uh, to start. Your trades, draft ownership, trade difficulty hard. I guess it didn't save it. I, I went ahead and did all these settings, but I guess it didn't save them, unfortunately. Uh, looks good there. Uh, advanced settings, sim engine, medium. We're going to set draft class and generated prospect to low for the first two years. Um, and then after that, we'll turn it back to medium because that's when we'll want, you know, random, random players. Uh, I don't think think there is anything else we need morale is on retired players is on block rush okay cool let's do it baby washington capitals led by alex ovechkin i think this will be a fun one uh keep telling you on all right let's uh let's check out the team here all right so here's our starting lineup we were blessed with a fantastic coach and i'll show you guys in a sec uh but we have ovechkin backstrom and mantha wilson kuznetsov oshi haglin Eller, Hathaway, Shiri, McMichael, and Sprong. I did boost McMichael a little bit, uh, just slightly. Um, defensively, this is kind of where we got uh, screwed over with our coach. None of our defense really worked with our scheme at all. And it's super, like, so this, I'll show you guys the original lineup. Basically, it was just like this. It was Orlov, Kempney, and Irwin. Uh, because we're going to play with chemistry, I mean, minus three to John Carlson is absolutely no bueno. We don't want that. Uh, so unfortunately, we got to go like this. Basically, we need to try and find a defenseman that fits this scheme uh, that is actually better than, you know, an 80 and can play with John Carlson. <laughs> so it's it's kind of unfortunate. There was there was a coach that's available to sign, but he's he doesn't really fit our forward scheme that well. He might work in the top six, but the bottom six is still really bad. Um, I I don't know. I hate the coach. I hate how chemistry's matched up with like the the coach and not the players it doesn't make any sense to me but that it is what it is okay so that's what we're gonna go with uh so because of that we got matt Irwin with john carlson we got dimitri orlov and justin schultz and then we got michael kempney with nick jensen in goal we got Ilya samsonov and vitek vinicek i'm not good with names you guys will will, will figure that out real quick um i am open to ideas and suggestions so if you guys really uh, want to see me do something, I think for the purpose of this, I'm not going to trade Ovechkin. Uh, there's no way he's he's retiring a Washington Capital. Um, but I am open, I think, pretty much to everybody else. I'm totally open to everything else. So, um, Also, if you guys enjoyed the video, please uh, leave a like. It helps out a lot. And uh, if you haven't done so, hit the subscribe button. All right, so in terms of trade block, this is how we're going to start. So basically, surplus, we're going to say... Actually, we're going to take off goalie there. Uh, but we want a defenseman who is between 17 and 32 who can play top 
uh, top four, basically. That's what we want. We want a left-handed shot to go with uh, to go with John Carlson, and then we also, I think, potentially want another uh, prospect goalie. Maybe not. Maybe like 21. We're gonna keep that. We're looking for all picks, uh, and then on the actual trade block, we got Phoenix Copley. I mean, he could really help anybody. He's he's kind of like out of his you know range to be a prospect anymore. He's 29, uh, so I think he could. We could probably get some value for him. Uh, even though it's like, obviously, he's, he doesn't have much trade value. Uh, Trevor Van Riemsdyk, we could move. Matt Owen, we can move. And Nick Dowd, we can move. So, there's definitely some uh, some room to make some moves here. Alright, so I'm going to start the sim. Uh, just to preface, uh, to save some time, I'm not going to go game by game. Uh, I'll do like a recap at the end of each month. We're only going to do uh, half seasons to start. I, I really debated doing a full season, but I, I really like getting input from uh, you guys and, uh, you know, just input and feedback. So I think I'm going to stick with this. The video should be a lot shorter just because we're cutting out a lot of the the, the meat of me actually doing the sim. Uh, so we'll do like a recap at the end of each month. I'll kind of just like have the calendar up so you can see. And then I also think we're going to do some like actual slow sims still. Uh, so we will still do some slow sims so you guys can like see the team potentially uh, if, if we get into like a, an overtime or whatever situation. Um, but yeah, that's it. So we're going to start. We're going to do the preseason. I'll show you guys how we did. And then we'll uh, kind of like show you guys just a quick overview of our stats. All right. So to begin, we got owner expectations. Let's get down to business. Let's check out our owner goals. I believe they usually change. Uh, we did it. We already did the upgrades. Uh, I want to improve our top four defensemen to make us a serious contender. That is actually already something we've <laughs> we've already talked about. So we're kind of online there. Uh, cool. We already passed those owner goals. Here's the salary cap. So we're finished the preseason. We went 5-1-1. One, and one. Not that preseason matters, but Ovechkin had six goals for us and seven points. Connor Sheary also had seven points, apparently. And in net, Samsonov went 5-1. and one, And Vanacek lost one. Uh, OTL. All right, so let's slow sim the very first game against the uh, New York Rangers, and let's see how this team does. All right, first period, one nothing Rangers. Second period, oof, three one Rangers. <laughs> Not a great start to the season for the Caps. Uh, this is our home open actually too. <clears throat> nothing so far. Nothing so far. Man, are we actually going to lose our home opener? Wow. Okay. Oshi. Five to go. Can we tie it? Doesn't look like it. No. Open netter. Oof. All right. Big loss in our first game of the season. 4-2. Here are your three stars. And uh, yeah, we'll sim the first month and uh, see how things are looking. So we're at the end of October, we are currently 5-3-0. and oh. uh, Not a bad start. We did lose the Arizona Coyotes, which is kind of weird. Um, but otherwise, I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with how we've uh, started off the season so far. Uh, in terms of points, everything looks pretty good. Uh, I mean, Ovi is below a point a game, but like we have a lot of dudes with uh, 7 points right now. So yeah, like we're actually putting up a lot of points, which is great to see. Uh, Goalie-wise, Samsonov isn't really doing fantastic. Like his 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 stats aren't bad, uh, but I wouldn't. I'd like to see more than uh, like a 500 record for sure. Uh, our goals for looks pretty good. We're at 3.63, so I'm happy there. Goals against though could be much much better. Um, and then in terms of power play, our power play is only 16.7%, which is no bueno. I mean, our first power play line is absolutely stacked, which is insane. Our PK is 87.1, which isn't bad. Um, but there's obviously some teams like Pittsburgh who have a 95.2%, which is actually crazy. Uh, so here's our power play. We had Wilson, but I uh, swapped in Daniel Sprong. I think if we if we can't get this second line, so like the first line's kind of going, I guess. Ovi's got three goals so far, um, but they haven't really scored a lot, which is insane because this line is actually like pretty stacked, <laughs> like fairly stacked. The second line, though, I'm thinking we might need some maybe third third slash fourth line. Uh, additional scoring maybe that's something we need to look into uh, making a making a move like pretty early um, like our bottom six isn't bad uh, but we do have like Garnet Hathaway who's a grinder on our third line he doesn't really fit on the fourth line at all which is kind of crazy uh, again this is just because of the way the coach works and the chemistry which kind of sucks 
So maybe that's something that we look for, is kind of like a right, right-handed right sniper or something that we can get in there that's, you know, kind of low 80s. Um, but yeah, we'll keep going and uh, see see if anything improves. Alright, so we're about midway uh, through November. We're currently 8, 6, and 0, and we're going to take on the 10, 2, and 1 Penguins. It's kind of like a big division rivalry. Uh, so we're going to jump into this sim right now. Alright, first period. Alright, so 1-1, one, one, Crosby and McMichael. Second period. Woo-wee! Alright, so Sprong, Wilson, uh, Bluger, and then Irwin. So we're up 4-2 right now. Heading into the... Wow, John Carlson, 5-2. Uh, not bad, not bad. I like that. John Carlson scored from, like, the corner. That's, uh... <laughs> that's actually pretty wild. Uh, 5-2. I don't really... Oh, 6-2. Carlson again? Okay. Oh, Rodriguez. Okay, 6-3. 6-4. Oh my gosh. Don't, don't let this happen, guys. Zucker. Okay. Don't... It's a two-goal lead now. Don't... Okay. Carlson gets the hat trick. Wow. 7-4 over the division leading Penguins. Here are your three stars. Carlson, four points. He had a hat trick. Unbelievable. All right, so we're through uh, November. We're at December 1st. We are currently 15-7-1, so we definitely picked it up a lot after that Pittsburgh game. Uh, I think we only lost two games after that, and one was a shootout loss, so that really helped us. Uh, we're two points back of the Penguins for first place. They have a game in hand, though. Uh, but, I mean, overall, things are looking pretty good. Here are our top point getters. Uh, Nick Backstrom has 26 points in 23 games. Ovechkin has 24. John Carlson has 22. And then everybody else kind of drops off. I've been having some morale things with uh, Oshie and Kuznetsov, who basically said they aren't playing up to up to snuff. Uh, so what I did is I put uh, Wilson onto the first line. I, I don't know how, how negative this is going to impact us. And then I put Mantha onto the second line because he's not really doing a whole lot. So... Um, maybe that'll spark our second line to go. We'll have to see. Uh, Samsonov is doing pretty good. He's 9-6 and has one, uh, OTL. No shutouts yet. His stats aren't, aren't great. His save percentage could definitely be better. And his goals against, it's like not terrible, but he's, he's playing a lot of games. Uh, Vanacek's like 6-3-0 right now. He has one shutout. He's actually got really good stats for a backup. Uh, so he's doing really well for us. All right, so our goals four is still up there. 3.48, which is fantastic. Our power play actually got worse which is which is great <laughs> uh our pk is 84.2 so uh i think that's about the same i don't think it's really changed much but like i said the penguins were at 95 at the start and they're at 85.3 somehow the devils are last place but have an 89.6 uh pk although their power play is f what 4.2 percent oh my gosh um so i think finding that top four left-handed defenseman would be probably the ideal thing right now the other person i wanted to look at was sprung just to see how he's doing on the power play um and uh yeah we can take a look at that really quick all right so we're gonna try and make a, a trade with the toronto maple leaves we're gonna try and give up daniel sprung who's our third i think he's actually on our fourth line but i tried him on the power play he just doesn't fit within our uh with our scheme which kind of sucks like he doesn't fit on the third line uh and then we're gonna try and get andre cassie who's I mean, point-wise, isn't much better. He is an 81 overall. He's actually playing on the second line with John Tavares, so I don't know how he's not doing much better. Um, but his overall, like, his stats are just just slightly better. Um, he looks like he looks like he's two years more progressed, uh, which is basically what we're looking for. They're pretty much the same player, though, almost. Okay, we're going to try Daniel Sprong, Nick Dowd, and a fourth-round pick for Cassie and see if that goes through. Trade accepted. There we go. Perfect. All right, so we fit Kasi into the uh, third line with Hagelin and Eller. Um, I th I don't know. I think that might give us boost, and then we can put Garner Hathaway on the fourth line, so that should help. And then on the special teams, he will also play there. All right, so I thought I was recording, and I guess I, I paused it for a second. Uh, but we made a pretty big trade, so I went searching for a top four defenseman. Uh, initially, I was looking at Cam Fowler, but then I found Ty Smith from the New Jersey Devils. And he's a 21-year-old versus a 30-year-old. They're the same overall and the same trade value, which was just absolutely crazy. Uh, so we traded a 75 overall defensive prospect who was 22, uh, Alexiev. And then we we also traded a unsigned defensive prospect, Drew Krebs, and a 2023 second-round pick. So next year's second-round pick. And we were able to acquire him. 
So in terms of what that looks like, it does give us a minus one because Carlson apparently just doesn't fit within our coach's scheme. It really sucks still. Uh, so they're a minus one, but that's okay. Ty Smith, uh, he's a top four medium potential and he's a top four role. And I think, I honestly think this is going to be huge for us. Um, between him and Cam Fowler, Cam Fowler, like they're, they're kind of like slightly different from each other. Um, I don't know. I think this is a huge addition. Uh, he's only 21, so... And he's got a super friendly contract for us. He's still got two years at 865, uh, 865,000. So that's huge for our cap. Um, yeah, I'm very excited to see how he does in this lineup. So because we made the, the trade there, I'm going to sim and we're going to play the uh, St. Louis Blues. We'll do that as a slow sim. And then basically I'm going to sim halfway and show you guys how we're doing. We are currently 22, 14, and 2, and they are 26, 10, and 1. Uh, they are still sitting at the top of the central, and we are tied with the Penguins for first. Our division is actually like pretty crazy uh, competitive, so uh, I'm happy that we're still first place here. Uh, so let's see how we do against the Blues. All right, first period. All right, so 1-1, Sunquist and Orlov, second period. All right, so 5-2 for us, Mantha, Ovechkin, Oshie, and Backstrom, and then they had uh, Jordan Kairou on the power play. And let's play through the third period here. Ooh. Austin, okay, so 5-3, okay, 5-4, uh, <laughs> boys, <laughs> don't lose it here, oh, please don't let them tie it, 5 on 3, oh my, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, <sighs> okay, alright, okay, woo, Ovi on the empty netter, 6-4 final, let's go, that's a big dub, alright, 3 stars, Oshi, Ovechkin, and Backstrom. Man, Baxter had five points. Oh, and Ovi had four. Woo. All right, so we were actually closer than I thought. So uh, St. Louis was game 39, I believe. Uh, now we're at 41. So we're exactly halfway in the season. We're 24, 15, and two. We're top of the Metropolitan with 50 points, uh, which was massive. Uh, we're actually doing pretty solid. I'm very happy about it. So our team leaders. So Backstrom has 38 points. Ovechkin has 35. So they've kind of slowed down a little bit, which is... A little bit surprising. John Carlson has 33 points. Kuznetsov has 32. It looks like TJ Oshie has picked it up along with... Uh, wow, Eller has 28 points. Mantha. Cassie has 22 points. Oh my gosh. Does it show his team? Yeah. So when we got him, he had 10 points in 23 games. And now on our third line, he's actually got two or one power play goal, which is, I guess, okay. He is 12 points in 18. So And he's a plus four. So he's doing much better on our team than he was on Toronto. Samsonov is 17-11 with two OTLs. His stats have actually improved pretty uh, pretty greatly. Uh, Vanacek is 7-6 and 0. I guess o zero OTLs, so 76. One shutout. Uh, so he was 6-3 and three at one point. But he's still not doing too bad, too bad. And sorry, to look at our other uh, new player. So we got Ty Smith here who joined our team. And let's just see how he's done. So he's got three points in 18 games but he's a plus three on our top line um so yeah he's definitely like not putting up more points uh but in terms of uh actual defensive play i think he's doing pretty good on the first line although he's playing with john carlson so i kind of almost expect more so i don't know what's going on there all right here we are sitting on top of the metro our goals for i think has dipped a little bit and our goals against is now a 2.95 so we did get below two or below three sorry which is great uh power play has dropped again which is crazy i don't know what's happening with that power play maybe we need to like i don't even know shake it up a little bit like maybe uh even it out i'm not I'm not really sure how to improve that if you guys have any feedback suggestions there that'd be helpful uh, PK is 87.4, so that has continued to improve. Uh, we're the best in our division, which is fantastic. And we're 5-5 five and five in our last 10. Could be better, but we are sitting at the top of the division. In terms of the overall uh, NHL, Kepersov has 47 points in 39 games and is leading the league. Uh, and here's kind of the top go-getters. McKinnon, Pasternak, uh, McDavid, Yozy, Kane. Wow, really? Roman Yozy. Sheesh. Uh, and then goalie-wise, Jack Campbell is leading the league right now. In terms of the overall NHL, the Avs are leading with 55 points, and the Vegas Golden Knights have 55 as well. And we are sitting in 6th overall, which isn't uh, too bad. 
Um, I wish I could figure out how to get this power play percentage up. So I, I'm, I'm uh, very interested to see if you guys have any feedback there. And if you're curious, here is what our current power play looks like. So we're sitting at 12%. I don't really know what's going on here. Maybe we need to move Oshi off or something. Like, I'm not really sure. Maybe Ovechkin needs to go on the point. Um, I'm open to any suggestions you guys want to give me. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoy. This is the first episode of our Washington Capitals franchise mode. Uh, we're off to a pretty decent start. I mean, <laughs> in the previous franchise, we did that with Winnipeg and we always blew the second half. So I'm very hopeful that doesn't happen. <laughs> but uh, we've made some pretty good improvements to our team, uh, bringing in Cassie and Ty Smith. And uh, yeah, I mean, at the deadline, I guess we can see if there's anything else we can improve, if you guys have any thoughts. But um, I'm fairly happy with where this is going. And I'd like to just, uh, you know, hopefully make <laughs> hopefully make the playoffs. Um, but that's going to be it for me for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. It helps out so, so much. Uh, if you haven't done so, hit the subscribe button. Uh, and that's going to be it. And we will see you guys in the next video. Stay safe and have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching, guys.